The DX Fleet application allows you to schedule events to be delivered right to your inbox, as opposed to your end users having to log into the application all the time to generate a report or an export or anything that they're doing on a regular basis. Um, so in order to speed up your time and manage your time better, we have a scheduler that will allow you to automate some of that process for you. So to set up the scheduler, we are gonna simply go to reports and then scheduler. That's gonna bring us here. And then we just need to click add to add a new scheduled event. Scheduled events need to have a name and we need to select what type of event we would like to do. We have two different types of events currently in the application. One is a report and one is an export. When we schedule a report, we're going to be prompted for all the reports that we have available in the application. And now we just simply need to define what report data do we want to be sent out. So we are going to select the type of report that you would like to run. So let's just do, for example, a let's just do an activity detail by driver card one report. And let's do that for let's do last month. And then now what card data do we want to show up in that report? We are going to have a starting card and an ending card. So you could do one card by itself and that'll run just the, this one particular card, or you could do a range of cards. We can have the starting card here and we can have the ending card down here and it's going to run every card in between. That's one way to do it. Or we can simply select all and that'll generate the report for all of your cards. Coming down here, we have frequency. This frequency option here is scheduling one event in the future. This is not going to be an editable schedule. So once you make it and it executes once, you can't go back and edit this and make it for a different time and range. And it's basically just a one and done scenario. So if you want to say, what if we wanted to run last the, you know, let's say we want to run the like a predefined range of the starting in or the start of the year to the end of the year you can say i want a standard date i want the entire month or the entire year of 2020 you could come in here and say january 1st to december 31st of 2021 okay and then we could schedule that on new year's day 2022 Okay, and then what will happen is on January 1st, 2022, you are going to get this report emailed to you. And it's going to email it to you from this selection here. So all you need to do is simply select anybody that would like to be emailed this report. And then on this scheduled date, it will send you the report that we defined here. Uh, you'll also want to set the date and time for the report. So probably first thing in the morning to the last thing at night. And it's going to send that one time in the future. The other option is we're going to select a reoccurring event. So say we want this report to run every day. And we want to email that report to one or more individuals uh, in this list every day. So in order to do that, first thing we want to do is turn off standard date. We don't want a standard date here. If it's going to be reoccurring, that means the date needs to be fluid. It needs to update as the days go on. Or if we defined, you know, say yesterday on this standard date, then every day that it runs, it's going to run for yesterday's transactions. And then, you know, two days from now, it's going to run from two days ago uh, as transactions. So you don't want to use a standard date when you're using a reoccurring event. So we'll go ahead here and we'll select relative date. The relative date is going to give us a flexibility of that date changing as the uh, schedule uh, reoccurs. So we're going to do relative. And then if we want it to run every day, for example, we'll want yesterday's transactions to show up tomorrow. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to create a report for yesterday's transactions for all cards. And then here we're going to select the interval and we're going to say days and we're going to just say every one day. Okay, so every one day, we're going to get yesterday's transactions. And then here we can define when do we want that to start. Let's just say we want it to start tomorrow, and we want it to be at, 
9 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to say 9 a.m. Now, the until is if you wanted to only run to a certain day and then stop. And so this, this report would basically be no longer delivered. Um, you could turn that on if you wanted to, or you could just leave it off. It's not required. So here, if we do this, and then we come into the application and we save this, now we're going to have a scheduled event that's going to run every day for yesterday's transactions at 9 a.m. And it's going to run forever until we turn it off. And it's when it runs, it's going to simply deliver this to your inbox here, okay, for any of these people that, uh, that are on this checkbox here. So what's going to happen is you're going to get an email, and the email is going to say, click here for this report. You're going to select that link, and then that report's going to save right to your browser wherever you are. You can access that via the you know, any internet browser, you know, whether you're on your cell phone or whether you're on uh, your office computer or personal computer at home, uh, you'll be able to get that as long as your email is here and you can access your email. Um, the other option that we have is to do uh, larger intervals, right? So you could do it. I want a monthly report or I want it every so often. And you can customize these ranges here. When you start getting into other options, you have a lot more selections here and flexibility on you know, how often do you want this to run? When do you want it to run kind of thing? So um, you can change this to your heart's content, basically. The other option we have here in the scheduler, other than report, is export. So if you haven't uh, listened to the export training already, you may want to jump into that. It's going to uh, give you some more details about the export data uh, and how to export in the application. Um, but here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to... Uh, let's clear all this out first. So let's go ahead and just do a scheduler. Let's add a new one since we uh, already filled out that last one. And we're going to go out here and we're going to select export data. You're going to want to give it a name. And then over here, we're just going to define the data that's going to be set up in this export. So uh, as referencing the, the other one that we did uh, on the export report, we're just going to select all. We're going to select all accounts. We're going to give it a name. Let's just say... And let's just say daily export. Okay. And then whether you want network transactions or manual transactions, or if you want to flag them. So we're going to flag this. We're going to say, I want every transaction that's never been flagged before and never been exported. And then we're going to select, uh, I just want an Excel file for this one. And we're going to select the date range or the date format. So Whatever format you uh, like seeing, uh, I personally like this one. We're going to go ahead and select this. And then we're going to select relative date or standard date. Um, so the relative date is going to give us this export for us a defined date range. So you're going to select, I want, you know, uh, yesterday's transactions. I want the last seven days transactions. The standard date is going to say, I want this day, this time, to this day, this time. And it's going to be the same all the time. So if we're going to do one time in the future report, that's okay. We could select the standard date. You could put in whatever you'd like here. And then the day that you want that to export. Or we can go ahead and do a relative date here. And then we can do a reoccurring interval here. So here we're going to say yesterday, we're going to do an interval again of every one day and then we're just going to define that so that's all you really need to do to set up a daily export in this application it's going to hit this interval it's going to look at the time that you have it scheduled to and it's going to export that the export is also going to go through email so you're going to select the email you're going to click the link and then it's going to download to your local browser really easy and simple to use um, you just need to come in here and define any scheduled tasks that you would like to run if you have any scheduled tasks that you want to stop running or that are incorrect and you need to recreate them, simply come back to the scheduler and then just simply hit delete and then you can add another event uh, with the correct information or with the updated things that you would like to do. Some of the events are not editable, so you may not be able to come in and edit the event, so it may be better to just delete it and then create a new event. Thank you.